the cloud and see. Okay. So first off, I wanna welcome you all to, um, I mean, it's a big deal to take time out of your day to focus on your health. And um, a lot of us, you know, it's something we take for granted until something serious happens. And that's kind of what happened in our family. Um, if you don't know me, my name is Sherry Parsons and I am a wellness advocate with doTERRA. Um, our story started, gosh, seven years ago, six, uh, six years ago. So our family was formed by adoption and um, six months into um, after we had we went adopted through foster care and six months after our family day um, I was looking for ways to try to help the kiddos just with a lot of emotions and things and um, I was in a group and found doTERRA uh, um, a gal mentioned it to me she said have you tried essential oils with your kids and I was like no um, so six months after we had oils in our home my husband was diagnosed with a chronic illness and um, matters kept getting worse and worse and it was it was a very hard time in our life and we had the oils and we researched and did things and started implementing them for support. And we kind of got things turned around because essential oils, they come from plants and trees and they help support our body. Our body recognizes them over synthetic medications and um, God put them on earth before um, we were he even formed us. They put the plants for us. And there's so many properties in them that can help support us in our health journey. And um, the world tells us all these things that kind of um, are harmful to our health. And we can use our brain and say, this isn't going well. And that's what we did. And then about a year after I started with the wheels, um, they'd helped us so much. I started sharing. And so um, this is a really big deal for me to share all this information with you today. And I hope you just take it and learn from it. And if you know anyone else we can help, you know, we'd love to help. So today's um, topic is reclaim your health. And Zotara has this wonderful presentation that I'm going to share with you. Um, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Let me. Let me see if I can do this. Share my screen. I don't know how to do this for sure. So I'm going to share and then find myself PowerPoint. Share. Like I said, I want to welcome everyone. Thank you for taking time out of your busy schedules to spend some time today as we learn about reclaiming your health. So we're gonna start by introducing the wellness pyramid. Today, we are going to talk about the Terra Wellness Pyramid. It was created with foundational health principles in mind that build atop each other. Think of your health like a Jenga blocks. If you remove the foundation, it all topples nutrition, digestion, movements, and metabolism impact all other aspects of our health and well being. These wellness principles are the same lifestyle factors that impact overall health. So, Terra is all about proactive, natural ways of addressing root concerns. Temporary and superficial solutions aren't enough. And that's what, you know, typically our healthcare, they like address the um, symptoms, but they don't think, why is this happening? Lifestyle choices you make each day are the foundation of your wellness. Your body is generally a reflection of your lifestyle. So Tara has created an easy to follow wellness plan with products to support you at any point of your journey. Throughout this event, we are sharing segments taught by Dr. Brannick Riggs. He is the vice president of education and the chairman of scientific 
and Medical Education Board. Dr. Riggs enjoys the full spectrum of family medicine and is a member of the American Academy of Family Physicians. Dr. Riggs served as medical director of his busy practice, as well as a nursing home and two hospice groups prior to joining doTERRA. He was also the Northern Utah Medical Director for Revere Health from 2014 to 2017. I'm excited to be talking to you about the wellness pyramid. And that's the first concept that is foundational to any wellness approach is this wellness pyramid. This is similar to Maslow's hierarchy of needs. It has a foundation of nutrition and digestion. So if this is not going well, most of what we do to take care of specific complaints is not going to work well. And if it does, it won't work well for long. As an example, if someone's having challenges with sleep, but they're eating at 11.30 p.m., which we know can give them issues with sleep, how we approach will not work well until we discuss nutrition and digestion. As it turns out, nine out of the 10 most impactful risk factors for health are rooted in poor nutrition. Unhealthy lifestyle leads to a variety of health concerns, and the lifestyle choices you make each day are the foundation for your wellness. Now, the reverse of this is also true. If we pay very little attention to our lifestyle, then we get to focus more on our medical care. I know that you've all seen this in the lives of individuals you've worked with over the years. Many of us are having our own awakening. So let's focus on the wellness pyramid rather than the unwellness pyramid, because that's our goal, to remain well. Today's healthy foods are still very different from the historic diets our genes are programmed for. For thousands of years, agricultural breeding has always had the goal of improving yield and taste. And since many micronutrients don't taste good, they've been inadvertently bred out of our food. The wild apple has about 100 times more phytonutrients and much more vitamin C than apples you can buy in the grocery store today. And this is just one example of what's happened to our entire food supply. This New York Times article, Breeding the Nutrition Out of Our Food from May 2013, said the loss of these beneficial nutrients did not begin 50 or 100 years ago, as many assume. Unwittingly, we have been stripping phytonutrients from our diet since we stopped foraging for wild plants some 10,000 years ago and became farmers. One would have to eat eight oranges today to derive the same amount of vitamin A as our grandparents would have gotten from just one orange. The U.S. Department of Agriculture report on over 40 common fruits and vegetables has revealed that around 50% of the substances containing vitamins and minerals essential for optimal human health has suffered a considerable decline in nutrient content between the years of 1950 and 1999. Those declines range from 6 to 38%. So in discussing movement and metabolism, I'd like to mention a study on aging by Dr. Mark Tarnopolsky, who published an experiment in 2001 in which they studied mice that had a terrible genetic disease that caused them to age prematurely. Over the course of five months, half the mice were sedentary and half the mice were coaxed to run three times a week on a miniature treadmill. Now, I can't imagine a little tiny mouse treadmill, but they found them. At the end of the study, the sedentary mice were barely alive. The fur that they had yet to fall out had grown coarse and gray. Their muscles shivered, hearts were weak, and the skin had become very thin. Even their hearing was affected. The mice that ran several times a week on those little tiny treadmills, although genetically compromised, were nearly indistinguishable from healthy mice. Their coats were sleek and black. They ran around their cages normally, and they could even reproduce. Exercise almost completely prevented the premature aging in these animals. Hippocrates, around 400 BC, said eating alone will not keep a man well. He must also take exercise. In the early 1900s, with the rise of modern surgery and pharmaceuticals, medicine shifted from a prevention focus to a treatment focus. 
Interestingly, physicians de-emphasized exercise just as the modern Olympics swelled in popularity and colleges began building stadiums to accommodate America's growing love of spectator sports. In 1905, a physician published an article in the Journal of the American Medical Association stating, quote, the men on the teams are the very ones whom nature has endowed superabundantly with physical capacity, but on them, the physical director or coach bends most of his energies, while the average student is left to get his physical development by yelling from the bleachers, unquote. Physical activity was no longer the medicine of the masses, but the privilege of elite athletes. In rest and managed stress, it's important to mention this study, which was out of Finland, which indicates that people who are sleeping less than eight hours daily are 21 to 26% more likely to die from any cause than those who slept more than eight hours. As a matter of fact, sleep deprivation in mice will kill them faster than starvation can. Sleeplessness can significantly impact your cardiovascular health. One study in Japan showed that those who slept more than six hours a night are four to five times more likely to enjoy significantly better cardiovascular health than those who got less than six hours of sleep. Dr. Mikan Nedergaard, a neuroscientist from the University of Rochester, studied the brain during sleep and found that the brain runs a system of checks on itself to ensure that the balance of hormones, enzymes, and proteins aren't too far off kilter during which time brain cells contract, opening up the spaces between them so that fluid can wash out the toxic detritus that can cause all kinds of problems if it builds up. Quote, it's kind of like a dishwasher that keeps flushing through to wash the dirt away, unquote. Without that nightly wash cycle, dangerous toxins can damage healthy cells and interfere with their ability to communicate with one another. In the short term, that can impede memory formation and the ability to coherently compose our thoughts and regulate our emotions. So let's talk about reduced toxic exposure and support detoxification. It makes sense that exposure to environmental chemicals has been linked to significant health challenges. Toxic load refers to the harmful chemicals that accumulate in the body through exposure. Now this exposure can come through air, water, food, chemicals in personal products, and household cleaners. They can also come from medications, plastics, herbicides, and pesticides. And interestingly, our own body produces toxins through a variety of metabolic processes every day. Remember the neurons in the brain contracting during sleep, allowing toxins to be washed out and cleaning up our brains? Those are the toxins that are washed out. Over the last few decades, we've become increasingly aware of how endocrine disrupting chemicals are affecting us. Now, endocrine disrupting chemicals or EDCs are substances in the environment, food sources, personal care products, and manufactured products that interfere with the normal function of your body's endocrine system. They are chemicals or mixtures of chemicals that interfere with the way the body's hormones work. They act like hormone mimics and trick our body into thinking that they are hormones. They may block natural hormones from doing their job. They could increase or decrease the levels of hormones in our blood by affecting how they're made, broken down, or stored in our body, and can change how sensitive our bodies are to different hormones, which is why they've been linked to numerous adverse human health outcomes that are increasing in rate and effect. We need to start identifying where these toxins are coming from, and what we might do to ditch those items and switch to a more natural or pure product that can do the same thing. So let's talk a little bit about informed self-care. Informed self-care is the upper part of our wellness pyramid, which actually becomes part of our health care, where we can take care of some of our needs ourselves. If we were to break down the key areas or pillars of informed self-care, it would include immunity, healthy inflammatory response, metabolic concerns, and mental health. At the end of this presentation, I'm going to take a few minutes and describe some concepts in proactive medical care that I hope that you'll enjoy and really take to heart from the standpoint of a physician. We'll talk about that at the end. Thank you.
I just love Dr. Riggs. I mean, he is so good at explaining things. So um, he, Dr. Riggs just gave us a quick overview of the wellness pyramid. And just like the Jenga illustration that we already talked about, the first concept that he discussed was nutrition and digestion. Nutrition and digestion is the foundation of overall wellness. As Dr. Riggs mentioned, nine out of 10 most impactful risk factors are tied to poor nutrition, meaning that unhealthy lifestyles lead to illness, disability, and even death. Problems like metabolic disease, joint and skeletal problems, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, weight issues, violence, and so on can be caused by unhealthy lifestyles. Unhealthy eating and physical inactivity are leading causes of death in the U.S. Unhealthy diet contributes to approximately 678,000 deaths each year in the U.S due to nutrition and obesity-related disease, such as heart disease, cancer, and type 2 diabetes. Most of the food that we consume does not meet our basic health needs. Among many things, what we eat has a major impact on our health status, weight, and actually how we feel overall. As mentioned, the typical diet in our modern world is full of highly processed food and lacking in those vital nutrients. Our specific nutrient requirements will depend on several factors like our age, gender, how much we exercise, and other personal health circumstances like pregnancy or serious health concerns. While the amounts and types of nutrients we need can vary from person to person, most of us are likely not reaching our daily requirements for a number of vitamins and minerals. Nutrient requirements are determined by the amount of a vitamin or mineral needed to minimize a nutrient deficiency based on our age, gender, and several other factors. Each gender and age group has a specific set of general nutritional requirements that will help keep them healthy. The estimated average requirement, or EAR, will allow an individual to compare their nutritional intake to requirements based on their age and gender. This chart shows the amount of American adults who are not reaching their daily nutritional requirements for specific vitamins and minerals. At 94 and 95 percent, a majority of American adults are not reaching their daily requirements for vitamins D and E, two of the fat-soluble vitamins. Nearly half of Americans or more do not fulfill nutrient requirements for magnesium, vitamin A, calcium, and vitamin C. The RDA is neither a recommendation nor an allowance, but rather an adequate intake amount. The RDA for protein is based on analysis of nitrogen balance studies. Therefore, the RDA for protein is the amount of protein needed to avoid a negative nitrogen balance. This criterion creates two primary problems. Number one, a misunderstanding of what the RDA actually means. And number two, the RDA for protein is not based on a health outcome. The current recommended dietary allowance or RDA for protein intake is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight per day, or about 68 grams for a 150 pound adult. This amount of protein is probably not enough to maintain muscle mass. And we really need to be eating 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilo. Sorry, guys. I hit the wrong button. Among many things, what we eat has a A is neither a recommendation nor an allowance, but rather an adequate intake amount. The RDA for protein is based on analysis of nitrogen balance studies. Therefore, the RDA for protein is the amount of protein needed 
to avoid a negative nitrogen balance. This criterion creates two primary problems. Number one, a misunderstanding of what the RDA actually means. And number two, the RDA for protein is not based on a health outcome. The current recommended dietary allowance or RDA for protein intake is 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight per day, or about 68 grams for a 150 pound adult. This amount of protein is probably not enough to maintain muscle mass. And we really need to be eating 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight, which is likely optimal for muscle protein synthesis especially as one ages. Now let's talk about micronutrients. Your body has an amazing capacity to heal when it is given what it needs. And we have seen that firsthand in our family. Butera's Lifelong Vitality Pack was created with these facts in mind. Each complex blend has, specific, has, a, has a specific job to do to assist our body with optimal health. Whether you are starting to feel the effects of aging or you just want to promote a healthier lifestyle, Butera's Lifelong Vitality Program is designed to provide your health body with health, energy, and longevity. Today, we will be discussing the benefits of each product in the Lifelong Vitality Program and how they can be used to support healthy, a healthy lifestyle in order to help you look and feel your best. The doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Program includes three products that have been specifically formulated to provide the body with antioxidants to support immune health, to promote healthy energy levels, and to give the body proper nutrients that maximize the missing, those missing from our diet. These products, Alpha CRS, XEO Omega, and Microcomplex VMZ are safe ingredients. They use safe ingredients along with CTPG essential oils to provide the individual with a healthy way to promote vitality and wellness. As you can see, the combination of powerful ingredients. Oops. Matt? And essential oils in the AXO Omega formula, sorry about that, make it use, a useful supplement for providing your body with a healthy balance of essential fatty acids along with other benefits. I think I'm off my slides, but we'll catch up, sorry. Macronutrients are a group of nutrients to provide your body with energy and the components it needs to maintain its structure and functions. Macronutrients are the nutrients we need in larger quantities to provide us with energy. In other words, fat, protein, and carbohydrate. For example, proteins provide essential amino acids, while fats contain essential fatty acids. Your body utilizes these components for specific functions. Macronutrients also contain energy in the form of calories. Carbs are the main energy source, but your body can use other macronutrients for energy if needed. Each macronutrient has specific functions in your body. During digestion, they're broken down into smaller parts. These parts are then used for bodily functions like energy production, muscle building, and giving structure to cells. So they XEO omegas are essential fatty acids. Um, they have a carotenoid blend and they have CPTG essential oils. The micro complex VMZ is our essential vitamins, essential minerals. And they all come from like things that we can recognize and our body can easily use. 
the like vitamins you get like at Walmart, they're like hard and your body can't recognize most of them and they can't break them down to actually use them. So most of them aren't even beneficial. And then the alpha CRS is, a, is like an amazing um, supplement just on its own. It's for cellular longevity. It has, it's our cellular energy blend. So, that the EXO omegas, you know, they're so good for like, we hear about omegas, you know, we get them from fish and um, like nuts and different things, but we don't eat enough of those things to get what our body needs. So this supplement is amazing for our heart and circulatory system, our joints, our immune system, our brain, eyes, and nervous system, our skin. Uh, all these things that these, these, this one supplement, like, you know, hits on. It provides um, natural sources of vitamin D and E. It's good for our circulatory system. Telomeres protect the ends of all linear chromosomes against DNA loss and faulty recombination. They shorten during replication and also in response to external stress and damage. Telomerase counteracts telomere shortening, but has non-telomeric functions as well. Omegas are one of the primary ways to slow the decimation of telomeres and maintain the intended lifespan of those telomeres. The adoption of comprehensive lifestyle changes, which include daily supplementation with omega-3 fatty acids, was associated with a significant increase in telomerase activity in normal adult human leukocytes. Individuals who supplement with a quality vitamin and mineral can extend telomeres by as much as 8%. So what do fatty acids do for the cell? Fatty acid constitutes the foundation of cell membranes provides metabolic energy, affects functions of membrane-bound enzymes and receptors, conducts signaling cascade, and helps in learning-related memory cognition in mammals, including humans. Those are some incredible benefits that we get with smart supplementation. For those of you that are looking for a vegan option, like you're not like wanting the fish oils that are in the our regular um, omegas, we have a vegan option and that's what we have been taking. Um, we switched off of a lot of things that were um, uh, animal-based when my husband was at his sickest. So we went with the vegan option and that's what we're still um, doing today. So our next supplement is the micro um, VMZ micro complex. So it has 22 essential vitamins and minerals to support normal growth, function, and maintain maintenance of our cells. Um, fights free radicals and um, with the antioxidant vitamins of A, C, and E, supports healthy metabolism and cellular energy, supports the bone health with calcium, magnesium, zinc, and vitamin D, supports healthy immune function, supports healthy digestion, and it um, includes the patented glycoprotein matrix for enhanced bioavailability. The alpha CSR, it um, supports healthy cell functions, protecting our cellular DNA, promotes cellular energy by supporting our, by supporting a healthy mitochondria. Mitochondria is like what's in our cells that like give us the energy, supports healthy cellular 
immune function and supports mental clarity and brain function. And who does not need that? So why do we need it all? Like the protein. So protein helps control our appetite, provides the body with necessary nutrients that it needs to produce ATP, supports muscle growth and recovery. And then we need fiber that helps us, that helps, helps us have a healthy microbiome. And we're all hearing more and more about what um, a healthy digestive tract does. And this promotes a healthy digestive function. Um, it, it may support cardiovascular, your immune system and metabolic processes. And it may support weight management goals. And that's when you're fuller, you don't wanna eat as much. So greens provide um, equivalent of one to two servings of fruits and vegetables. It's a good source of dietary fiber and may support normal metabolism. And they're all good, tasty. I'm off on my notes, so I apologize. So we want water, fruits, veggies. We wanna avoid chemicals and we want regular movements. Our bodies need to move. As specialized proteins that act as catalysts for cellular function, enzymes play a critical role in growth, healing, reproduction, breathing, thinking, immune function, hormone regulation, detoxification, and thousands of other biochemical functions. Enzymes also assist in the digestive process and in converting food into energy in cells, making exogenous enzymes, which must be consumed as the body is unable to produce them, one of the most important components of our diets. Fresh, Raw foods naturally contain sufficient enzymes for proper digestion in the body. However, when food is cooked and processed, these naturally occurring food enzymes can be destroyed. Digest Zen Terrazyme is a proprietary blend of 10 active whole food enzymes that are often deficient in cooked, processed, and preservative laden foods. Terrazyme includes a variety of whole food enzymes that help with digestion of proteins, fats, complex carbohydrates, sugars, fiber, and other food nutrients. It also supports optimal health by promoting more efficient digestion of food nutrients and by reducing the demand for internal production of digestive nutrients, thus freeing resources for optimal levels of metabolic enzyme production and activity. Digest Zen Terrazyme can also be used as targeted support for specific food intolerances of proteins, fats, and carbohydrates, such as lactose. Each serving of PB Assist Plus delivers 6 billion CFUs or colony forming units of active probiotic cultures and soluble prebiotic fiber to support proper digestive function, particularly of the colon and intestinal tract. Supplementing your diet with probiotics promotes a healthy intestinal tract, increased digestive comfort, optimal metabolism, and the absorption of nutrients in the GI tract. Recent studies suggest that a healthy balance of probiotic bacteria in the gut also helps the body maintain healthy immune system function. PB Assist Plus delivers six key strains of beneficial bacteria needed for proper absorption and digestion of foods. This powerful formula includes prebiotic fiber, known as prebiotic fructooligosaccharides, plus 6 billion CFUs of active probiotic microorganisms, Lactobacillus acidophilus, Bifidobacterium bifidum, Bifidobacterium longum, Bifidobacterium lactis, Lactobacillus salivarius, and Lactobacillus casei. Digestin can be taken internally to ease symptoms of occasional digestive disturbance, such as bloating, gas, and indigestion. As a convenient alternative, you can take Digestin soft gels once a day or as needed. 
Digestin can also be used topically and comes in a touch roller for convenient application on kids. Rub one to four drops on the stomach before flying or taking a road trip for a calming aroma. You can dilute one drop in four fluid ounces or more of water or tea to support digestion or minimize motion sickness. Digestin is designed to be used with or without the complementary line of Digestin nutritional products. So I want to touch back uh, on a couple of things that I missed before. Um, so we're, we're, most of us aren't getting enough protein, and that's where the protein supplement comes in. Um, and we need protein for our muscles and um, just to be healthy. We need it for our stamina and to build cells and muscles. So um, we're just not getting enough in that traditionally in our diet these days. And then, you know, the greens, a lot of us are not, I still see a lot of people are like, are afraid to eat anything green. It's like, my goodness, these are the, th these are the basics that God gave us to eat, like the greens and the fruits and the vegetables. And why are we afraid of them? And we, we want to try to get, you know, healthy ones as we can. So look up like the Dirty Dozen and the Clean 15. Um, if you're thinking about like, what about organics? Do I, what do I have to worry about, you know? Or, or, you know, if you can raise your own as much as possible. Um, then we went on to talk about our digestive system and how we just need to keep all that healthy. Um, and like I said, get, a, get enough fruits and vegetables to keep the enzymes and all that stuff. So um, supplementing where we're lacking just makes it easier because um, I know most of us are busy and we, we don't have time to like count and add up and see what did I eat today. So if you can, if you know you're like off, you can just, you know, have, mix you up some greens and fiber and, and drink it down or mix you up some protein or if like you're too busy to like have a meal, mix you up some protein. Um, it's just really helpful. And outside of drinking water, eating fresh fruits and vegetables, avoiding chemicals and exercising regular the Terra has several products that support healthy digestion. And that's what Dr. Riggs just talked about. And next we're going to metabolism. So a good, metab good metabolic health means that your body can digest and absorb nutrients from food that you eat without unhealthy spikes in blood sugar, blood fat, inflammation, and insulin. It's important to avoid these unhealthy spikes because they can cause, because they can contribute to unfavorable long-term impacts in your health. Optimal metabolic health lowers your risk of damage caused by metabolic imbalances, poor diet, high levels of stress, and a sedentary lifestyle, all negatively impact your metabolic health. This in turn puts us at risk for issues with blood pressure, cholesterol, blood sugar imbalances, and large waist circumference. But there's good news. When you take control of your metabolic health, you're able to slow biological aging, and extend the health span. Don't take my word for it. Some of the latest research at Harvard and at top tier organizations show that metabolic health and biological age are inseparable. That means the stronger and healthier your metabolic function, the younger you'll feel on the inside, from the inside out. It's a fact that life as you age so does your meta so as you age your metabolic function declines and because your metabolic influences your energy weight and body composition sleep and even cognitive performance a decline of metabolic health can have dramatic impact on your quality of life but simple taking control of your metabolic health now is how to take control of the rate you age inside and out
there's a big difference between our lifespan and your potential for health span. Medical advantage, uh, medical advances are helping us live longer, but not always with the quality of life needed to fulfill powerful lives. Lifespan has exceeded health span, meaning we're living longer, but not necessarily with vital and health, with vitality and health for all those years. In fact, the last eight years of life are, are statistically spent with inhibited enjoyment of life because of health limits, limitations. And it's not just the effects of aging. Life is full of stressors that can make us feel much older than we are. We get aches, we can't sleep, we experience brain fog and take longer to bounce back than we'd, than we'd like. We can feel like we're working overtime just to get through the day. Is that how you want to live each precious day of your life? Is that how you want to feel in the extra years you've gained through medical advances? So what's preventing us from living vibrantly? Because the truth is you can control how you feel. It's time to close the gap between lifespan and health span. How do we close that gap? Even for the average healthy person, aging markers begin to show up in your 20s. By the time you reach 50 years old, your body is producing about half the NAD plus it was when you were 20. What's NAD plus? NAD is responsible for two types of reactions in the body. Metabolic function, which converts food and nutrients into cellular energy, and cellular integrity, which protects your cellular energy factories. Because NAD plus levels steadily fall as you age, there are important implications to metabolic function and the negative effects on DNA that snowball as NAD levels decline. What does that mean? As you age, so does your metabolic function, which plays a role in cellular wellness. And because your metabolism influences your weight, body composition, energy, and even cognitive performance, to close the gap between lifespan and health span, you must take control of your metabolic health. There are four obstacles to metabolic health that we have to overcome. Maturing fat cells, cellular integrity, spikes in blood sugar, already in normal range, and inferior supplements. Are you excited to hear there are solutions for all four of these? All of these metabolic health obstacles affect our health span, making it hard to live a vibrant life. So Terra's new product system for metabolic health support is going to fill the missing pieces in your wellness lifestyle plan. It's formulated with the intent to support naturally increasing NAD and NADH levels in your body, supporting cellular integrity, helping smooth out the spikes and dips in your normal range blood glucose levels by promoting healthy insulin activity and response, as well as curbing cravings and inhibiting your fat cells from maturing. Our new product Fun has created or was created to provide support for your body on a cellular level and help you live a youthful, vibrant life. It is commonly understood that through healthy eating and beverage choices combined with regular physical activity, we can reduce the size of our existing fat cells. MetaPower Metabolic Essential Oil Blend is uniquely formulated to support these lifestyle choices by curbing hunger cravings between meals. Plus, recent research on the new MetaPower Essential Oil Blend has also shown it can limit the development of new fat cells and growth of existing fat cells. 
Now here's where things get really exciting. Remember your cells, including fat cells, do not live forever. By using any of these MetaPower essential oil blend daily, combined with natural cell death and the turnover, we have the potential to metabolic, metamorphically freeze our new fat cells as at their smallest size. That means that MetaPower Metabolic Blend can support your goals now and long-term. This is why it is such an important part of the MetaPower system. The MetaPower Metabolic Blend features clinical, clinically balanced ratios for doTERRA certified pure tested grapefruit, lemon, peppermint, ginger, and cinnamon bark essential oils. When all five of these oils are combined together at the right ratios, something powerful happens. It can inhibit the cell, the fat cell maturation. That's geek speak for reducing the likelihood of your fat cells growing. It can curb cravings and support overall metabolic health. There are four ways you can enjoy this essential oil and the oil itself. Beeplets to help curb cravings throughout the day and gum. So good for on the move and the soft gels. This has been said that each time your blood sugar spikes, you age. Who here has driven with a teenager as they get behind the wheel for the first time? Remember that feeling of being thrown forward and back in your seat? I love the metaphor thinking of our bodies like a car. If you're putting your foot on the floor of, on the accelerator and then slamming on your brake, it's going to rapidly increase the wear and tear on your car. It isn't good for your engine, the brakes, the tires, or even your seat belts. Even normal range spikes and dips in your blood sugar can be hard on your body to contribute to poor function to poor functioning cells. For most of us, we naturally have post-meal blood glucose spikes, and some of us may also experience dips if we have gone too long between meals. The more we smooth out the spikes and the dips in our blood glucose and insulin curves, the better. And of course, this also helps optimize our energy with more evenly sustained energy with more evenly sustaining our energy levels throughout the day. This is MetaPower Assist. Our daily supplement will help you smooth out the curves in blood sugar around mealtime. This product is key for closing the gap between your health span and your lifespan. We want to not only live longer, we want to have maximum life in those years, right? MetaPower Assist features mulberry leaf extract, which has been shown to reduce, to reduce post-meal blood sugar spikes by 13, 13% when taken with our meal. The mulberry, mulberry leaf extract helps our body to metabolize the carbs you just ate more slowly. Of course, MetaPower Assist is designed designed to be paired with healthy whole food approach to eating. While a whole food diet and regular exercise are the best ways to promote healthy blood sugar regulation, let's not forget that less than 7% of the U.S. adults of the U.S. adult population have optimal metabolic health. So most of us can afford a little support. This is the assist we all need at meal time. Okay, next part is super important and there are two key things I want you to understand about the relationship between aging and cellular integrity. First, collagen. It is the most abundant protein in the human body. Did you know there are 28 types of collagen in our bodies? Collagen is a key component of connective tissue that make our tendons, ligaments, skin, muscles, and other body parts. While collagen is supporting that 
humans and animals produce natural is something that humans and animals produce naturally our natural production of it also drops with age starting at 25. Collagen is what gives us what well, is what gives your skin its elasticity and firmness and it also it's also what supports your lean muscle and cognitive and connective gosh guys sorry connective tissue connective tissue gives your body structure and strength for example the ligaments in your knees are com are a, are composed of collagen they all they allow your knee to flex, bend, absorb shock as we age, or simply as a result of an active lifestyle. Repetitive stress, stresses are put on our joints, muscles, tendons, and other connective tissue. Even the ever-present force of gravity is constantly taking a toll on our collagen-containing tissues. Second, as I mentioned before, NADH and NAD plus are crucial for mitochondrial maintenance and energy production. Remember, NAD plus and NADH production begins dropping dramatically around age 25. NAD plus and NADH convert food into energy and offer protection to our cellular energy factors without sufficient NADH plus levels in our body, our cells are not able to generate any energy to survive or carry out their function. Basically, without NAD plus, we would be on the risk on the fast track to death. There's new research, new studies, and newly discovered science that is helping us understand how we support how we supplement to support production of NAD plus in our bodies, no matter our no matter no matter our age. Preclinical studies suggest that supplementing with NMN, which is a precursor to NAD plus, may increase NAD plus, leading to more youthful functioning of cells in the body system. I know that's a lot of information and acronyms, but you will understand why it's important in just a minute. So let me give you the highlights of why the collagen and MetaPower Advantage is superior to anything else you may have tried. First, it is 12 times more absorbable or bioavailable than other collagen products. Second, most collagen replacement, replacing products only feature one or two collagen tripeptide types. MetaPower Advantage contains nine unique collagen types. The 12 synergistic ingredients in MetaPower Advantage give your cells what they need to support cellular integrity. MetaPower Advantage is delivered to you in hydrolyzed powder format for a more active and bioavailable delivery system at the time it is, at the time of taking it simply mix it with water immediately before you drink it so the third step in the metapower system combines the power of marine collagen and yeast longevity complex containing NMN and NAD, plus 10 other synerg synergistic ingredients to target cellular integrity and health span. It's a powerhouse. This is a product that's going to replace vital collagen your tissues need and support natural production of NAD plus in your body, helping you to slow the signs of aging both inside and out. The 12 synergistic ingredients and advantage give your cells what they need to combat cellular deterioration. The result is slower biological aging, firmer, more elastic skin, improved cognitive function, more lean muscle and connective tissue, and more. Advantage is game-changing. 
powders is a game changing powder supplement that you'll mix with water in your shaker bottle daily to extend your health span, regardless of your current age. There is nothing out there that even compares. We outlined the five pillars of metabolic health earlier. Healthy eating, daily movement, healthy connections, stress management, and smart supplementation. Well, smart supplementation is how you can get a greater return on your efforts in the other, with the other four pillars. These products combined with healthy lifestyle choices are a powerful key for unlocking your personal wellness. MetaPower is not a single product. It's an entire system designed to help your, you optimize your metabolic health. Every product in the system features the new MetaPower Metabolic Blend as a key ingredient. The power of your pure essential oil fueling every aspect of your system. We don't just want to live a long life. We want to live a long, healthy life. Each product in the system is an answer to one of the metabolic health obstacles we just covered. Together, together as a system, the MetaPower products support your metabolic function to power your body effectively, slow biological aging, and close the gap between lifespan and health span. So we have been taking the MetaPower like since September of last year. And Tim didn't start taking it right away. Well, he wanted to, but we were like, oh, you know, he has to limit animal proteins, um, basically to none. Um, and so we were just cautious. We're like, well, this comes from marine collagen. So we were cautious. And one of our friends asked at convention last year, no, actually at leadership. Anyways, they, they got a chance to ask one of the doctors personally, and he answered that it should be safe and, and it will likely be beneficial to Tim. So he started taking it and he says he feels the best he has forever. So um, it is just, it's a miraculous. There, there are hundreds of thousands of positive testimonies. Um, and I personally have, um, a friend who was taking another collagen product and she just switched to MetaPower. She's like one month in and she says that it's really helping her. So, I mean, it's amazing. So let me give you the highlights for why collagen and MetaPower Advantage is superior to anything else you may have tried. First, it's 12 times more absorbent or bioavailable than other collagen products. Second, most collagen replacing products only feature one or two collagen tripeptide types. MetaPower Advantage contains nine unique collagen types. Exercise is a miracle drug. Research shows that if we exercise often enough, our metabolic costs will be lower. Our medical mindset our medical costs will be lower. We will sleep better at night and our mood improves all just by exercising, moving in some way, just what you can. Not only that, but our work days are more productive and our risk for developing almost any chronic disease will drop. About half of Americans meet the recommendations for aerobic physical activity, only 20% 20, 20 also do strength training. In the US, we spend a lot of our lives in inactivity. We watch TV for hours, we sit at our desk, working for far too long. We go out to eat and sit. And this doesn't start in adulthood. This is behavior that we, that we learn as children and it's damaging our health long-term. The father of modern medicine says this, eating alone will not keep a man well. He must also take 
exercise. That was back in 400 BC, they knew we needed to exercise. It's movement that gives us healthy joints, strong bones, physical strength, good circulation, including cardiovascular circulation, good coordination and reflex reactivity, improve learning skills and concentration and mental well-being. Without it, we would simply deteriorate. Even the most elite athletes struggle to motivate themselves from time to time. The most important thing is to not beat yourself up over it. Take a little time and then revisit your reasons for exercising and get back on track. How many of you have heard the adage, muscle weighs more than fat? Most everyone in here, and that's true. Muscle does weigh more than fat because it's more dense, meaning that there is more substance in the same amount of space compared to fat. So what happens when we don't move? You know that feeling that comes when you've been sitting for a long period of time and you finally get up and walk to the kitchen or answer the door or change the laundry or go to a meeting. Your knees creak a little, your lower back aches, your neck is stiff. A sedentary lifestyle can have powerful negative effects on us. I really miss. Sitting is the new smoking. Over 25% of American adults sit for more than eight hours every day. Almost half of those people get little to no exercise. The average American is physically active less than 20 minutes per day, and more time spent sitting is strongly associated with less physical activity overall. Even when controlling for time, overall level of directed exercise Time spent sitting is itself a risk factor for cardiometabolic morbidity and all-cause mortality. Everyday discomfort can hold us back from moving as often or in the ways that we like. So when we're discomfort, we don't get to do what we need, want or need to do. So infused with doTERRA, deep blue oil, the soothing, the soothing blend of CTPG, certified pure tested grade essential oils, deep blue rub is powerful, natural and targeted relief that is perfect for minor discomfort. It's one of the products that I reach for most often on a, okay. Deep blue. I have so many people. Tim like uses it every day. I use it pretty much every day. If you have any aches and pains, deep blue is going to be your buddy. Now we're going to rest and managing stress. My wheelhouse. <laughs> our culture, our, our culture has taught us that sleep is unimportant. We can sleep when we're dead, et cetera. I want to spend some time talking about why sleep is so important and the things that impact it. What I want you to know is that sleep has a major impact on our health and quality of life. Sleep helps your brain make new memories and recall old ones. Sleep helps clear out a toxic protein from your brain called beta amyloid that may otherwise build up and interfere with cognitive function when you're older. It impacts the reproductive system, the release of hormones, and on and on. Literal deterioration of mental and physiological performance starts to happen after 16 hours of being awake. Most sleep issues are stress-induced. We must manage our stress. 70% of problems sleeping are related to psychophysiological issues, 15% environmental and 15% medical. Increased cortisol levels means melatonin levels will not be able to rise as they should to promote restful sleep. In addition, 
to impacts to the impacts Dr. Riggs just talked about. We also know that lack of sleep impacts our immune system, our cardiovascular health, and the life cycle of cells in our body. The amount of sleep that we need changes throughout our lives. Babies need the most, needing 16 hours a day when born. Kids, um, the 12, I'm sorry, 16 hours a day when born to 12 hours a day at one year. Not surprising to most of us with kids is the fact that babies are born without circadian rhythms. This does kick in about three to six months after they are born. About 50% of newborns sleep in REM sleep. School-age children typically settle into a restful 10 to 11 hours of sleep in teen years. The brain starts stretching, reorganizing, and maturing, and so sleep patterns change substantially. Circadian rhythms also shift during that time so that their brains are not ready for sleep until midnight and they naturally wake up around 10 a.m. Adolescents will need eight to 10 hours of sleep per night, but they rarely get that. Often we are forcing them to go to bed when we are, but they stay in bed awake until much later. Then we force them to get up to go to school long before their brain is ready for wakefulness and before they have gotten the needed amount of sleep. We know that this presents a problem for our teenagers in our society. We don't have a solution for it, but we recommend that you remain sensitive to this. Adults need but rarely get the recommended seven to eight hours of sleep per night. How many of you do? I know. As we move into old age, sleep begins to fracture a bit, which removes deep sleep from the sleep cycle. By the time we are 70, it forms only a small percentage of the night. Therefore, we find that we don't need as much sleep as we enter later years. So how can we impact our sleep? There are a few tips that we can incorporate in our routine to stay positively impact. Routine to positively impact our sleep. Sorry about that. So keep a constant schedule. Nap, nap briefly, if at all. If you can avoid a nap, don't. Um, create a bedtime routine. Use your bedroom for sleep only. Avoid caffeine six to eight hours before bed. Some of us need to avoid it a lot more than that. Um, avoid large spicy meals before bedtime. Exercise regularly. Expose yourself to bright lights in the morning hours. And if you can't sleep, get up. So, go a little more in depth on those real quick. So keep a constant schedule. Go to bed and get up around the same time each day. If you're going to nap, time them. About 30 minutes in the first half of the day may help, but longer naps in the afternoons can lead to being up late. And that's a perpetuating cycle. Establish a smooth, uh, establish a soothing bedtime routine. Read a book, meditate, take a bath. Read your Bible. Use your bedroom only for sleep. Avoid watching TV in bed. Especially avoid working in bed. The brain needs to associate that room with sleep. Avoid caffeine and other stimulating stimulants before bed. Caffeine has a six-hour half-life, which means it takes nearly 24 hours to leave the system. Caffeine blocks endonosins, that sleep hormone that builds up during the day. 
So avoid alcohol, which will make you drowsy at first, but will break up your sleep later. Don't eat a large spicy meal before bedtime. Big meals can bring on indigestion and you will process those calories differently while you're sleeping than when you would be awake. And if you're dealing with acid reflux and a lot of that stuff, there are oils that can help manage those. Um, but that eating that spicy stuff late in the day is going to be an issue. Exercise regularly. People who exercise on a regular basis sleep better than those who don't. However, workouts within an hour of bedtime can make your body and your mind too stimulated to nod off easily. Expose yourself to bright lights in the morning hours to help set your body's clock, allowing yourself to experience evening. As the sun goes down, start turning off the bright overhead lights in your home. Use indirect lighting to allow your brain to realize less light and signal the melatonin rise. Avoid electronics 30 minutes before you intend to go to sleep. Keep your sleep, sleeping area cool. Research shows that sleeping between 60 and 67 degrees, that's cold for me, um, helps your body or it tells you about it's time to snooze. If you can't sleep, get up. If you have not fallen asleep after laying in bed for 20 minutes, get out of bed and do something in low light. Read a book next to a lamp, meditate, pray, listen to soft, soothing music. Of course, we have the best natural solutions on the market to help support the rest. You can apply lavender to the bottoms of your feet or diffuse during the night. The Terra Serenity soft gels, 30 to 45 minutes before bedtime. Some people do one, some people take two. Apply vetiver, that's the most sedative of our oils. Um, very calming. Um, put it on your big toe. That sounds weird if you're not an oiler, but your big toe is associated with um, your brain, actually. Um, diffuse doTERRA serenity and rub on your pillow. Serenity is our restful blend. So we have the supplement, serenity supplement, which is different from the oil. The oil can't be taken internally. Or you can do copaiba, and some people do both. Some people um, do serenity and copaiba together at bedtime. So you can do two to three drops under your tongue before bedtime, or you can take the capsules, um, but under the tongue, like gets in your system super fast. Apply cedarwood to the bottoms of your feet. I love cedarwood and diffuse adaptive, which I am diffusing right now. Let's talk about stress, baby. So tell me about this picture. What is happening? How does this picture make you feel? What do you think when you see the word stress? When you feel threatened, your nervous system responds by releasing a flood of stress hormones, including adrenaline and cortisol, which rouse your body for emergency action. Your heart pounds faster, muscles tighten, blood pressure rises, breath quickens, and your senses become sharper. Let's take a look at the assessment that you completed prior to this class. And take the assessment, did you? Remind me and I'll send that to you. In the, managing, in the management stress section, how did you score? If you frequently find yourself feeling frazzled and overwhelmed, it's time to take action to bring your nervous system back to balance. You can protect yourself and improve how you think and feel by learning how to recognize the signs and symptoms of long-term stress and taking steps to reduce this harmful, its harmful effects.
we are constantly inundated with stimuli that we have to respond to in some capacity. That's part of why we get stressed. Even positive experience like marriage, friends, and education can still be stressful. Why does this matter? Is, it all, is all stress bad? Stress can actually be productive. It can help you rise to meet challenges. It's what keeps you on your toes during a presentation at work, sharpens your concentration when you're attempting the game-winning free throw, or drives you to study for an exam when you'd rather be watching TV. But beyond a certain point, stress stops being helpful and starts causing major damage to your health, mood, productivity, relationships, and your quality of life. Psychologists often use analogies when talking about finding the right balance of having enough stress, but not too much stress. One is like a violin string. It's, if it's too loose, there's no music, but if it's strung too tight, it breaks and there's still no music. We have to find that delicate balance of tightening the string just right to motivate ourselves. Stress can boost brain power, increase short-term immunity, make you stronger and more creative, and it can enhance child development. A Correctly tightened string is like when we experience short-term stress. We've all experienced it. It relates to events and pressures and the present and your future, running late for work or forgetting an important appointment. As mentioned, a little of this type of stress can be helpful, motivating to keep going and get things done. Over time though, these little stresses can all add up, but it's possible to become more resilient to short-term stress by managing your time better, taking care of your health and practicing relaxation techniques. Long-term stress on the other hand leads to a variety of health problems and decreases quality of life. It also affects the immune system, causing it to not function optimally as well as having an impact on our balance of trillions of cells in our microbiome. Long-term emotional stress increases oxidative stress as well and cellular metabolism. The good news, Stress comes primarily not just from what happens to us, but more importantly, how we react to what happens to us. Even when we can't change what's happening in our lives, we have a lot more choice about how we react to it than we may believe. When you think about being stressed, what comes to mind? What happens to your mind and your body when you feel stress? Let's take a minute to jot down what you feel when you think of stress. What is your mind doing and where are you going? So for me, it's like that symbolism of being chased by a bear when there is no bear. <laughs> you'll feel that one. It's important to have a few activities that you can do to help calm your body and mind when you experience stress. A few things that you can do are focusing on slowly in your breathing. Meditate, pray. Anytime it says meditate, but for me it's pray. Take a walk, stretch, or listen to calming music 
among other things. So I listen to like K-Love, positive, encouraging music. I try to listen to it all the time because it just really helps keep me down here. Like when things are poking at me. Since we all experience long-term stress, here are a few things that we can do to help alleviate some of the challenges we face. As we already talked about, a healthy diet is critical to our overall health and wellness. Regular exercise, stick to a routine. Journaling is a great way to process some of our emotions tied to stress. Participating in a hobby and taking and talking about our feelings and asking for help. Additionally, we have several tools to help our bodies and mind navigate stress. So these are some of our top oils. Everyone has their favorites, but these in general are like the top that are most talked about, but everyone finds their own. Everyone's a little bit different and everyone finds their own scent, their own, like what, what works with your body chemistry. But let's talk about these real quick. So we have a whole adaptive system, which is an oil, which I'm diffusing, it comes in a roller bottle, which I roll in. Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of times use it at night, or if I know I'm going to be facing something stressful, balance is a good one. It's our grounding blend. Think about grounding is like, you know, walking on the earth and um, it just helps us. It just really helps us. We're connected with what God created. The lavender, we know that's our universal oil. It's calming, earthy, lightly sweet, and a freshly floral scent. It's widely beloved for its relaxing and balancing effects on both physical and emotional bodies. Frankincense, that's the gift for baby Jesus. It's one of our very favorite oils. It's comforting, warm, exotic, has an exotic aroma. It's more common use for mood enhancement and related stress and I have lots of people using that because it, it is highly anti-inflammatory like using it on me in different types of pain. Rose is a comforting oil it's soothing and calming and harmonizing. love to take the rose roller and roll it over my heart. And then Roman chamomile this is one I don't use as much and I need to it's great diffused you can make a nice tea out of just putting a drop of Roman chamomile on warm water and just 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 chill. <laughs> creates a relaxing atmosphere. So the next thing we want to talk about is reducing toxicity. We are exposed to countless toxins every day with everything we do and from sources that we may not even be aware of. Every breath, every bite we take, every minute we stand under the sun and every chemical, natural and synthetic that we come in contact with while cleaning our home exposes us to substances that can negatively impact our health. While other countries have taken actions to protect their citizens from chemicals linked to cancer and reproductive harm, the Food and, Drug, Food and Drug Administration doesn't even require the basic safety testing of ingredients and personal care products before they're used. Personal care products are not the only place we expose our bodies to these toxic toxins. Our cleaners, our clothes, our cookware, shower curtains, and more contain PFAS and PFAS are known as forever chemicals because they initially never break down naturally. And they are often added to products to make them waterproof, stain resistant, and nonstick. So what is a toxin? Let's hear from Dr. Riggs. A toxin is any substance that places undue stress on the body, and stresses can build up over time, creating what we call a toxic load on our bodies, and they specifically target the endocrine system. The endocrine system is a system of glands that make hormones, which are our internal chemical messengers. Hormones carry information from one set of cells to others, influencing every cell, 
body system and function in our body. The endocrine system releases hormones into the bloodstream and facilitates their movement throughout the body. It regulates how much of each hormone is released into the bloodstream and influences growth and development, function of organs, metabolism, reproduction, mood, and other physiological functions. There are eight major glands that make up the endocrine system, the hypothalamus, pituitary, thyroid, parathyroid, adrenals, pineal body, sex glands, and the pancreas. Endocrine disrupting chemicals are chemicals that can mimic or disrupt the action of the natural hormones. They may trick our body into thinking they are hormones, blocking natural hormones from doing their job, influ influencing how natural hormones are made and stored, even altering our sensitivity to natural hormones. Endocrine disruptors tend to target the aspect of hormone effects that make one hormone regulate the production and or degradation of our body's own hormones. Hormones are intertwined, meaning that exposing to a exposure to a single endocrine disrupting chemical can affect other hormones produced naturally in our body, causing a cascade of issues and making it difficult to identify the original culprit. Some of these consequences include increased risk for hormone-related cancers, risk of obesity, diabetes, and other metabolic issues, increased risk for cardiovascular disease, neurocognitive deficits, in developing children, and one of many of us may be familiar with poor thyroid function. Like thyroid issues are rampant, it's like crazy. There are over 1,000 separate EDCs that have been identified, but generally they fall into one of the five categories, plant-derived, medical supplies, chemicals, pharmaceuticals, household, personal care, and consumable items, which are where we will focus. Did you know that when women are on average, did you know that women use an average of 12 personal care products each day that contain more than 160 different chemicals? Men are not immune to this. They use an average of six personal care products that have more than 85 chemicals in them. 40 countries have banned 1,400 chemicals, while the U.S. has only banned nine. Where does this leave us? It means that we are continually exposed to endocrine disrupting chemicals through our normal daily routine, some of us without even realizing it or without knowing what to do about it. Many of the items that we use have BPH, parabens, parabens, and phylates, and triclosan in them. Parabens and phylates are especially common in personal care items. Parabens are preservatives in makeup, lotion, hair care products, and more. They are linked to infertility in males and have possible links to breast cancer. Phylates are binders for scent and associated with reproductive fertility and child growth development issues. This is why managing our toxic load, the buildup of toxic substances in our body is critical to our overall well-being. Our skin absorbs up to 60% of what we put on it, 
which is why you have to think twice about what you expose yourself and your family to. Allergies, hormonal disruptors, irritation, cancer, and reproductive issues are just a few of the problems that can develop if your skin is exposed to dangerous chemicals for prolonged periods. Your skin can, your skincare, oil care, oral care, and even hair care are all routines that can expose your skin and therefore your body to toxins on a daily basis. Fortunately, fortunately we have a natural detoxification system in our bodies that neutralizes and removes harmful chemicals through key elimination channels, including our digestive system, liver, and kidneys. God made us an amazing filtration system. He just didn't design us to have all these chemicals to try to filter on a daily basis. The proper functioning of these pathways depends on proper nutrition and digestion, as we've already discussed. A healthy diet is the most important way to de detoxify. Focusing on whole foods and plenty of water helps to support the highly complex process of detoxification. A healthy lifestyle impacts more than we realize. So we do. So where do we start? When we want to reduce the amount of toxins we and our family are exposed to, the first step towards lightening your toxic load to your, is to identify where toxins may be lurking in your home and everyday routine, particularly when it comes to the products you use on or use in or on your body. Looking through your bathroom cabinets and drawers and examining the products that you are using regularly is a great place to start. Review the ingredients in your makeup, your skincare, your hair care products, lotions, and perfumes. These items are notorious for mysterious, mysterious, not to mention unpronounceable ingredients. Even products you use to sleep, clean your teeth, calm your stomach, upset, or deal with discomfort can contain toxins that you may want to edit out of your routine. So like think of even like our over-the-counter pain relievers, like the most popular being acetaminophen and ibuprofen. We, you've heard, you know, like acetaminophen can be hard on your liver. We know for a fact ibuprofen can be hard on your kidneys. Like it's crazy. So not sure how to identify products that are exposing you to toxins. You can take some time to learn what the chemicals are that we need to avoid. There are websites and apps that make this simple as scanning a barcode or typing in the ingredients. So like CWG and Think Dirty, you can get these apps on your phone or you can Google online and find you know, information. Once you have identified where some of the toxin exposure may be coming from, it's easier to plan for how you'll lighten your toxic load by ditching and switching to natural alternatives because we all still need to wash our face and brush our teeth. When looking for alternative products, it's important to remember to avoid BPA, paraffins, violates, and synthetic fragrance. If it just says fragrance, it's, it's not good. Luckily, doTERRA offers many products that support us as we make efforts to reduce our toxic exposure. Identify toxins, ditch toxic products for natural options. We know that we can trust doTERRA. I mean, they, this is our 15th year and um, our customers are, lo are loyal. We wouldn't be here if we couldn't trust them. As you identify products in your skincare routine that you need to switch out, the essential skincare, the Virage skincare line, and the HD Clear line are great clean options. Not only does doTERRA avoid EDCs, but they 
go to great lengths to include ingredients that are nourishing and beneficial to the skin. And of course, there are sun, there's the sun care line. Summer is just around the corner and our UVA and UVB exposure is likely to increase in the upcoming months. Sun care line offers clean, broad spectrum protection without any paraffins, phylates, phyto, Oxybenzo, oxybenzazine, whatever, or synthetic fragrance. And it's on special right now through Saturday. You can get, um, there's two different choices. You can get one or both and get her after some hairspray free. So it's a perfect time to add that one if you're doing an order today. We know we can. Oh, sorry, whatever you went there. And of course there, nope, or we went there. Another group of products that are helpful, helpful when focusing on reducing your toxic load are citrus oils. Many citrus oils are high in a chemical called limonene. Limonene is known to have an uplifting, energizing aroma, and that has cleansing properties, both topically as in surface teeth, and skin and internally as it aids in detoxification process in the body. It also supports a healthy metabolism and supports immune, respiratory, gastrointestinal, and nervous system function. Tangerine essential oil is one of my personal favorites. I also really love wild orange and lemon. I like them all. Because tangerine not only does it have the citrus smell we love, but it also has a little touch of sweet and it's the highest amount of limonene in all the citrus oils. It's 80 to 90%. So wild orange is like our family's favorite and we diffuse it like all the time. When my husband was at his sickest, that was the oil like that really affected him when he was struggling. Being aware of toxins in your environment and having the education to know how to reduce those is vitally important to your overall well-being. So let's discuss informed self-care, the proactive approach to wellness. So now let's get into informed self-care, which is the proactive approach to wellness. Self-care has been identified as the practice of taking action to preserve or improve one's own health. A large part of the problem we have in healthcare is that the current paradigm that problems are inevitable so that we are more reactive than proactive. What if our paradigm was proactive? What if we started to act in a way that would promote health? Think of the changes some make after a significant health issue. What if they had made those changes long before? They could avoid the crisis and increase their health span. But to do this, we need to start now to teach people how to promote health and manage occasional issues that come up through practicing self-care. This is best done by friends and family who care and are willing to advocate for wellness. We need wellness advocates. This is why we need informed self-care. Informed self-care is the process of understanding health information and gaining knowledge so that we can wisely act to promote health and manage occasional issues that come up. There are so many ways to do this that it's easy to feel overwhelmed. So how do we take the first step in understanding health information? I like to keep things simple by gathering health information into groups or pillars. The pillars of informed self-care are metabolic concerns, immune function, inflammatory response, and mental health. To help improve metabolic function, I would use LLV to help supplement micronutrients. And of course, our proteins, greens, and fiber to help supplement our micronutrients, macronutrients. And then the MetaPower system to optimize our macronutrient utilization. And that's what I would use. To support healthy immune response, we have our amazing line of OnGuard products. 
that all contain on guard the protective gland. To improve our inflammatory response that needed soothing, I recommend Deep Blue, the soothing blend, as well as Copaiba soft gels, turmeric, and turmeric dual chambered capsules. They're all super good for helping lower inflammation and what feels like pain. For mental health support, we have the grounding blend, balance, or I would encourage experimenting with emotional aromatherapy. We have a whole line of oils just for emotions. If we better understand these health pillars, we have framework to help us make decisions so that we can have an informed impact on our health. Our last topic today is proactive medical care. So what is proactive medical care? Proactive care is personalized health care that encourages patients to take more control of their own care. It's creating a team of health and wellness professionals that you can partner with to help you reach your health goals. So I wanna explain a few concepts. Number one would be for you as wellness advocates, meet the individual where they are. Sometimes as wellness advocates, we give our customers such large bites to consume that they can't possibly eat it. And so they leave the whole thing on the table. We know, for instance, that walking 10,000 steps daily is a healthy habit that reaps incredible benefits. However, when getting up from a chair is painful, 10,000 steps a day is asking someone to climb Mount Everest. Melinda Gates said this, human-centered design is about meeting people where they are and really taking their needs and feedback into account. When you let people participate in the design process, you find that they often have ingenious ideas about what would really help them. Another concept is to be curious, not furious. The culture of taking care of people has often been a parental one one in which we are the parent and the individual seeking help is the child. A kind of, you had better do as you're told sort of relationship. Many of us recognize how unhealthy this is, but yet it continues. So if this is the case, maybe we can take something from the psychology of parenting that will help us not get so burned out. When children do not do as we expected them, we often become angry and frustrated with them. Parenting psychology tells us that if we were to become curious about the behavior, we may help that child change their behavior when we help them explore the reasons behind what they've done. This is true in individuals trying to change their health as well. When they are non-compliant, we often blame or criticize them and sadly take this on as a failure on our part. Once we put the anger in check and become curious about the behavior, we find ourselves becoming smoother when we realize that human transformation comes from the heart. A great quote from Brene Brown, one of my wife's favorite authors said this, choosing to be curious is choosing to be vulnerable because it requires us to surrender to uncertainty. It wasn't always a choice. We were born curious, but over time we learned that curiosity like vulnerability can lead to hurt. As a result, we turn to self-protecting, choosing certainty over curiosity, armor over vulnerability, and knowing over learning. Be curious about your health. Ask questions. The next concept is don't give away your power. Tom Hanks said this, quote, the power of the individual is as powerful as the universe is infinite, unquote. What can you do to harness your power as a patient, you need to know your risks and numbers. Health screenings are an important part of maintaining good health, especially as you get older. Health screenings can detect problems early when chances for successful treatment are greatest. Know your numbers, especially markers such as cholesterol, fasting blood sugar, hemoglobin A1C, BMI, which is a function of body weight, and blood pressure. 
And lastly, and probably most importantly, surround yourself by a team. Modern healthcare is a team sport. The best experience for you and your healthcare should feature a cadre of health professionals working together to deliver quality care. Studies have shown that interprofessional collaboration in healthcare can help to reduce preventable adverse drug reactions, decrease mortality rates, and optimize medication dosages. So now we have a better understanding of the wellness pyramid. And I just wanna go over a couple things. If you are, if you took in this information and you're like, I, I'm ready, I, I, I wanna see what, what's next. In addition to the amazing products that we have discussed, there is another key feature that defines doTERRA, our wellness advocates. Those of us who share, teach, about and sell doTERRA essential oils, including me. doTERRA was extremely deliberate when choosing a direct selling model. Essential oils are incredibly exponential and most people find that there's a learning curve when they're first getting started. Having someone personally introduce you and teach you how to use your essential oils is invaluable. You could say it's essential. Wellness advocates should provide a robust support customer service experience that's also warm and welcoming. We're real people who can always serve as your first point of contact when you're learning how to use your products or need help. We're like a built-in partner or personal guides on your wellness journey. We talked about several products today that, you, that can help you as you embark on your journey to reclaim your health. And we have some exclusive, exclusive offers to help you get started on your journey. Now, it doesn't matter to me whether you start with one oil or an enrollment kit. All that matters is that you get started with what is best for your wellness journey. However, we can help some amazing specials that are, that are only available like for the next 24 hours or so because of this event. The first is a 36% discount on the MetaPower kit, which is normally $238. But um, today, like during this event, like over the next 24 hours, you can get it for $152.25. The MetaPower system is the first and only system of synergistically, that synergistically provides support for a healthy metabolism, curving cravings, sustaining normal range of glycine and insulin response evenly throughout the day and naturally promoting cellular energy. When combined with a healthy lifestyle choices, the MetaPower products can help you feel great and look younger. The MetaPower system helps you live your most powerful life, supporting your metabolism, energy, health on a cellular level. If you would like to receive a free pebble diffuser, you can add lifelong vitality pack to your order or anything you need based on your wellness lifestyle assessment to hit the 150 um, points to get that free diffuser. So I made a code, I made a link for this kit. I made another link to get the diffuser and I made a third link that has like one more product and you get free copaiba oil and free copaiba soft gels, which is like an $84 value. So I would definitely suggest doing that one if you can at all, because you're getting so much free and you're, you're going to have like, you, the health benefits are going to be amazing. And I have that linked in our Facebook group. So the second option is 
at a 36% discount also, and that's our Healthy Habits Kit, which is normally $260, and today it's $165.75. Again, just at this event, if you want the healthiest version of yourself, the best way you can take charge of your wellness is by building habits. Every day we take, we make choices that either contribute to or take away from our overall health. Making healthy choices is much easier when you have a routine. The products in the Healthy Habits Kit are the tools you need to make healthy choices every single day and establish a routine that leads it, that lends itself to the healthy lifestyle you're striving for. The Healthy Habits Kit has many of the products that we have talked about. Lifelong Vitality Pack, Terrazyme, PB Assist, that are the foundation and nutrients of digestion. Deep Blue Rub that comes in handy as we increase our movement. Lavender, Balanced Frankincense that are used to help with the rest management and stress. Tangerine, which can be an aid to reduce our toxic load and on guard, which is one of our most used tools in our informational self-care toolbox. So that is our protective blend. Well, a great way to receive the Pebble Diffuser to this kit would be adding the Meta Power Advantage. And I made a link with the both options. And I made a link with a third option that has one more product. So you can get the free combiba. Again, I highly suggest to add one more item to get the free promos that are just for this month. Those are promos that um, doTERRA just offered for May. So even our, our regular customers can get those by ordering something. And our regular customers can also get these kits discounted by adding them to their cart with the, with the promotion code. In addition, when you enroll before leaving this event, I mean, that is, I have to skip that part. That was a live event, which we didn't get to have. So you can take advantage of our, you can take advantage of our 100, 100, 100 promotion. This is awesome. This is another, like a major thing to getting started today. Um, so this gives you a hundred doTERRA dollars when you enroll today with $100 and you spend $100 next month, then the following month, you're going to get $100 in free things of your choice. And that is like a $250 savings overall. If you're not sure what an LRP or loyalty rewards program order is, turn to the person who brought you to this event one of the best ways to ensure that you have tools accessible for you to focus on the areas of health from the assessment that you identified as being important is to set up a monthly order. So if you select that today, when you do your order, there's an option to click um, a loyalty or, or um, subscription, or I forget what it's exactly called. If you click that, you'll get 10% back on today's order also. So you'll get that in points like next month. It's like savings upon savings, it's like crazy. Lastly, I wanna to talk to you about the three types of people we serve in doTERRA, just so you know what the possibilities are. The first type of person is excited to live a natural lifestyle. When these people learn about the power of essential oils, they can't wait to share the products with their family. Their terror supports this type of person by providing free essential oil education and a generous loyalty rewards program. P.S. As a customer, you can earn doTERRA dollars like store credit from doTERRA when you tell your friends and family about your favorite products in our new Refer a Friend program. The second type of person is sitting here thinking, oh, my mother needs these products. Or I want my friends to know about, the, about this. These people naturally want to share what they love. doTERRA supports these 
this type of person by rewarding efforts to share products by earning extra money each month. Millions of people wor worldwide currently receive products this way from doTERRA. The third type of person has been listening to me and thinking, that's what I wanna do. I want to change people's lives by educating them about the power of essential oils and a holistic lifestyle. doTERRA supports this type of person with a generous compensation plan as these people educate others about the power of natural solutions. They can earn enough to supplement their income and enjoy more control over their time and finances. If you're the second or third type of person, talk to me after the class and I'll give you more information. So you can just message me, just like, what is all that about? No commitment whatsoever. I would love to tell you a little more about it. I'm never pushy. But I'm always there if you're curious. So if you would like me to show you how to sign up to get your free account, let me know. If you have a link from a friend, that has referred you to watch this video, that is a, a doTERRA person, they you use that link and this code, okay? Um, so you click on their link that they gave you and then you enter this code where it says, do you have a promo code? And you can select, um, like if you want to do it from scratch, you can, or I need links personal for my people. Those that had a link from me or another wellness advocate, you will automatically be taken to your cart with one of these kits. And don't forget, if you're wanting to secure your free pebble diffuser, make sure you pick the kit that has that. You need 150 PV, and I already like made that. If you need it, want it customized to another way, you can. And, but um, you'll get that by with the either depending on what kit, add in the lifelong, the vitality to the MetaPower kit or add in the MetaPower Collagen Advantage to the Healthy Habits kit. Once you cart, um, once you enter the promo code, you're going to get your 50% or your 15% savings showed up. And like I said, if you want to do the um, loyalty rewards and earn more, I'll like walk you through that and I'll help you the first three months show you how to do that and you'll get your extra hundred dollars. <laughs> okay, so I want to thank you guys for taking time to listen in and if I can help be of help of any way, just let me know and um, I'm always here for your questions and to help. And it, it, even if we didn't hit on something, if you're curious if there's something else, just message me and we'll talk. Thank you guys. I love you. And I, I, I'm, I'm tickled um, to serve you. God bless.